a modulus equation to solve. I'm going to do it using a geometrical starting point, and then I'll talk about some other methods along the way. So let's first of all sketch y equals 2x minus 1 modulus of. The critical point is going to be a half. And then it's going to be a straight line that sort of bounces off this point. Okay, symmetrical. And it's going to go through, when x is 0, it's going to be the modulus of minus 1, so it's going to go through 1. Next up, the modulus of x plus 3. That's going to have a critical point of minus 3. So the gradient is going to be less, that's quite important, but we can also see the y-intercept is going to be 3. So I'm just going to make sure that I have it above the 1 with a smaller gradient. Okay, and then I'm going to have to extend this one. That's our, so we see now our two points of intersection. And sorry, I forgot to include this part here. So just by looking at these points, we see there's going to be a point of intersection when basically we just get the, the parts without the modulus. Okay, because uh, it's it's this part here that's sort of the part that's been affected when, when it would have been negative, it would have carried on down here, and the same with this one. So I can simply, for my first coordinate, set 2x minus 1 equal to x plus 3. In fact, this is technically when x is greater than a half. This would be true. So then x is going to equal 4, and that's my first solution. If I now look at the second lot, it's going to be when, well, it's going to be between minus 3 and a half. So it's going to be when I still get x plus 3, but now I get the, the negative part of the modulus, so it's minus 2x plus 1 when I make this side inside negative, and that's going to equal x plus 3. So rearrange, I'm going to get 3x is going to equal minus 2, so x is minus 2 thirds. We don't need to do any more, that is, that is everything. You might have learned to just basically check all the regions, and then we could, you know, you could look at x is less than minus 3, and that's when they're both going to be their negatives. So it's going to be minus 2x plus 1 equals minus x minus 3. Then I'm going to get x equals 4 there. But the thing is, this I, I reject this one because I, I require that x is less than minus 3. That was an overriding condition expected. I mention this just because you can do it without a graph, and that would be how you would do it. You would look at the critical points, and then you would look like, you know, in between the critical points and then either side. And so then you just have to check that your solutions are, in fact, like they work with the extra condition, and they do here. If you'd like a slightly more brute force approach, it surprises me, but this is given as the first solution on the mark scheme. You can square both equations, because then it doesn't really matter if one's positive and one's negative. When you square them, they will be equal. The only thing is that you can introduce, well, one, you can introduce spurious solutions, solutions that do not actually exist. So you just have to check at the end whether it's true. But two, you know, it, it works. But if you imagine you had a, and I know this is not the case for A-level, but if you had a squared inside your equation, you'd be squaring a square. You'd end up with like a quartic equation. Whereas when you see this first method, we just had linear equations. But here we get away with it, and we've got just a quadratic to solve. So 4x squared minus 4x plus 1 equals x squared plus 6x plus 9. 3x squared minus 10x minus 8 equals 0. And we can factorize this quadratic or put it in your calculator to be fair. So I think it's going to be... 4 and 2, that gives us 12x, but we need minus 12x plus 2x. And we see from that that x is minus 2 over 3 or 4. Just be sure to then check back just to 
check it's not spurious, and then you'll see it works. We get set modulus of 7 equals modulus of 7. And then the other one's slightly more awkward when you put in minus 2 thirds, but that one will check out as well.